spooky season. Happy spooky season. I'm sure yes. you're just as busy as even busier than I am with this beautiful time of year where everyone and wants horror recommendations forever. And you're obviously the in-house curator for Shutter, yes. correct? It's and it is true. It is, and you are doing a lot of recommendations this year, but you also curated Fear Fest at Shutter. So can you just tell me a little bit about what's going on at Shutter this October, just in case anyone has missed what's going on? Of course. Um, <laughs> you know, one of the things that I think is always on our mind is if we exist as a horror service all day, every day, year round, um, how does October mean something different? And to me, what that is, is it's tonal, it's atmospheric. Um, I think there's a type of horror I like to watch in October that I don't necessarily go for in July or April or something mm. like that. Um, so we think a lot about not only like the most exciting new programming, but we think about, you know, the like a VHS film, for instance, what are the big qualities of it? And to me, they line up with what the Halloween season feel like. It's surprising and it's mischievous. Um, it's scary and it's unexpected, but it also can be like arch and make you laugh and kind of make you scream and laugh at the same time kind of like creep show does kind of like dead stream did last year um kind of like what we hope when evil lurks will do to a lot of people um so i think we think a lot about what the tone of the month is on shutter um and we put forward a lot of things set on halloween we put forward you know what's something endlessly rewatchable like evil dead 2 you know what is a new school classic that people are talking more and more about year after year, like Lake Mungo. Like these are the movies that like I care about, but I think a lot of people are either care about already or are starting to care about and feel perfect for, you know, I always say sometimes when we see a movie that we love that we want to release, like it's the perfect, like blow all the candles out on a Friday night movie. Yeah. So that Ooh. to me is what October is. And, you know, we want to release things that make you shut the lights off. Oh my gosh. Well, Abs there's so much happening this month that you guys are releasing yes. like I mean I was at Fantastic Fest and saw so many of the movies you're releasing this month and it is so exciting and overwhelming in the most positive way I mean that and like <laughs> you mentioned VHS is coming out uh, October 6th which is crazy yep. when evil lurks which absolutely blew that is a perfect blow the candles out and watch it <laughs> and get messed up movie for me personally and so what are you excited about people discovering this month that's new that you're releasing before we dig into other stuff? Um, I mean, I'm excited about people discovering a lot. I mean, I, I think VHS and When Evil Lurks are certainly out there with a bigger profile. I think yeah. something that I'm really excited for people to see is The Puppet Man. Um, yeah, Brandon from, Christensen! Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the fourth film we've worked on with Brandon. Um, and we really are so excited by that A it means so much to us when we get to work with our f filmmakers again and again, or honestly that they, you know, come back to us, which we, you know, there's no guarantee. We always feel the privilege that, you know, with When Evil Lurks, we got to work with Damien again, with the BHS team, um, with Jennifer Reeder, we've gotten to work with three times now. It's crazy. Oh, um, cool. So with Brandon, it's been such a cool journey. You know, we were the streaming home for Stillborn and then we released Z and then we released Superhost, and he was a producer on Spiral. Um, so it's been such a fun journey. And with Puppet Man, he really came to us with like a very cool supernatural mythology, like something that kind of sits between a supernatural slasher, but also a curse and kind of a possession film. Um, so I think people are going to have a lot of fun. Like there's stupendous kills in this movie. Um, it has like all of Brandon's like tonal feel um I it's it's a very cool movie uh and it's a great title like I think it's like exactly it's, like yeah. oh yeah it's October I want to watch a movie called The Puppet Man um yeah. and then Night of the Hunted because yeah. this is one where we get to work with Alex Aja we get to work with Frank Calfoon I mean Frank Calfoon E2 one of the most underrated Christmas horror movies um the Maniac remake was always really strong so yeah. for him to bring like his skill and his chops, which I think so finely sit in the world of like lean and bloody intense and bring that to this movie. And then I also think Night of the Hunt is gonna be cool because if you're following along the October journey on Shudder, you have sort of VHS, you have Puppet Man and Creepshow and everything in those worlds has something of like the fantastic quality to it, right? You have the supernatural or a little bit of sci-fi or like creepy crawly or monsters. Yeah. Night of the Hunted is this great change of pace before When Evil Lurks comes out because it's like a thriller. 
it's like a tense, close quarters, claustrophobic, really bloody thriller. Um, and I think, you know, it, it's going to be like a really cool breath and people are going to, well, not a breath. I mean, you're going to be holding it, but like a, a, a really nice change. And then when Evil Lurks is going to come like right back in and annihilate you, hopefully. What a good like schedule <laughs> of stuff for the month though. Like, I hope. <laughs> wow. I see. It feels like it really does count. Like hearing you talk about how you feel about October and like the vibe of October viewing, like it, what a good, and again, when Evil yeah. Lurks is a really good way to end the month it is such a good halloween movie you know and that's what I mean? not even and that's not even the end of the month because then yeah exactly october 30th on devil's night we have the hell house llc4 the yes! fourth one, oh um, my god hell house and LLC let me just Origins. tell you i'm so yeah. excited like incredible found footage franchise and i cannot believe we're getting another one i watched the original last night again um my wife hadn't seen it and i was just like you know what it's it's the beginning of the month i mean i'm trying maybe for the first time in my life to really consider doing something spooky every day in October um it, there had been times in my life where I'm like every my whole life is spooky what do I need I to do this for <laughs> you know like Sunday night I went out and I saw Twitching Tongues which is maybe the spookiest hardcore band currently oh uh, cool last, last night I saw um last night we watched Hell House um and again Hell House is the fourth you know we brought Hell House LLC the original to Shutter, I think in 2017 and then yeah two and three premiered exclusively with us so we felt really privileged to be able to do this new one and I know there's been even more anticipation because it's been a few years so I think people are really eager to see like what is a new Hell House LLC movie like um and it's it's scary I've heard it's really scary and I can't I'm actually watching it this week (laughs) um and I'm so excited because Hell House is one of those movies that no matter how many times I've watched it I still get kind of freaked out I think it is so effectively scary and every scare not just because of the clowns but everything and again I'm a found footage freak so like exactly last night when I was rewatching it you know what got me the most is when he's in bed and he turns on the light and the woman is sitting on the wall and then she keeps getting closer it's like just so completely. simple, but it's so scary. It is just but like that's the beauty of oh, like what yeah. Halloween feels right. Like is that simplicity of like, you know, when we released Satan Slaves, when I first saw it, the simplicity of him of the the little boy throwing the sheet and it just landing on a ghost. I think like, it's a perfect scare. Perfect scare. Well, so then you also program that like films that have already been released that maybe people yes, of course. love and know or they don't know. So what are some films that you really recommend people checking out this month on Shutter that maybe are hidden gems that people need to watch, more people need to know about on the, on the cloud? You know, I think, I, I don't know if the tide is fully turned on it yet, like in terms of it being underrated or not, but I do think Lake Mungo is probably the scariest movie between now and 2000. I love it with all my heart. I think it's a really special film. It's we just got good- it back. I know. And I'm so happy about that. I've been so excited because Lake Mungo is one of my all-time favorite movies and yeah. more people need to discover it. Again, I think the tide is turning, but not fully. And I think- Totally. I'm so I just want full Lake Shutter. Mungo awareness, right? Like Lake Mungo saturation, Lake Mungo supremacy. That's what I'm after. That's the t-shirts. It's Lake Mungo awareness month. Yeah. <laughs> October is actually Lake Mungo awareness month. <laughs> um, you know, we just, it, it's funny because it's not necessarily a Halloween movie. I think it's actually set at Christmas, but we just brought Dead End to Shudder, which I always think has kind of flown under the radar with Ray Wise. Yes. Highly recommend it. Yes. So funny. We, Dread Central, we love Dead End. We, it's yes. like underrated, weird, perfect holiday horror vibes. Lynn Shay and Ray Wise in it. Lynn Shay? I, I know. Yeah. Like, how wrong. could you go wrong? <laughs> um, An older film that we have on the service that I always recommend and means a lot to me is Soul Survivor. This is a film by the director of Night of the Comet, uh, but is tonally worlds away from Night of the Comet. Um, It actually feels, when you watch it, you'll see like, oh, you can sort of see the DNA of It Follows and Final Destination later on. Oh, I've never heard of this. I just looked, I'm looking it up as you're talking about it. I'm like, I've never even heard of this movie. It's incredible. It's about a, a young woman who survives like a devastating plane crash. And then in the days after, you know, strange figures are starting to show up in her life um, and get closer and grow more aggressive. It's so eerie. And, um, you know, if you like films where kind of like the slow march of death is coming toward you, like It Follows or Pulse, um, it, it's fantastic. It's a really cool, one of my favorite 80s, probably two of my favorite 80s horror movies are that and Dead and Buried, the Gary Sherman movie, which I always recommend around this time of year. 
everyone needs to watch Dead and Buried. I've watched it recently yes. and it is it. so good. It is so, it's, it is, that is underrated in terms of like what it is and how weird oh, it is. Yeah. And where it goes. Um, Grandpa it's, Charlie, for anyone my, like from Willy Wonka, the chocolate factory <laughs> is in it as a bad guy, everybody, in one of his last roles. So a and, young Freddy Krueger slash <laughs> Robert oh, England. Yeah, a young Robert England. And talk about a movie that like ends perfectly. Where you're just like, oh no. Like kind of like how Halloween three ends perfectly. And you're yes. just like, oh God. Well, uh, not gonna know that one. That- eerie vibe like eerie the fog how like that kind of creepy yes. cold fall vibe too if you like that um that and the fog are great a great double feature because like the fog is like creepy coastal california and dead and buried is creepy coastal new england there you go it's great oh my gosh well sam i could probably ask you for a million recommendations forever but i'll leave it at that <laughs> for people to discover and dig into shutter this this october but this has been awesome to chat with you about all of the, the things and i need to watch soul survivor immediately Please um do. so that's going so on my good. watch list it sounds incredible i, I only know it because it was recommended to me so i feel like it's my duty to push it out into the, the world yeah. yeah exactly the pay it forward with horror recommendation Oh, and also you're doing the hot, well, the horror hotline recommendations before we jump. Can you just tell everyone when you're, when you're doing those? It's, um, it's going to return once in October uh, this year at the end of the month on Friday the 27th. Uh, we'll we'll post about the time and the number. Um, and uh, we're really going to be there for your Halloween weekend needs. 